What's up my peeps, it is that time for a brand new episode of Supercard, and it's also time for our monthly free pack openings for the month of October this time. Now, as you all know, this month is Halloween month in both real life and Supercard, meaning we've got a very special pack as part of this free pack opening, and that is the special pumpkin pack. So I'm really looking forward to opening that up and seeing which pumpkin I get. Maybe it's going to be a pro, and if it is, hopefully it's an SS17 one. Now here's the thing, it's currently 4pm Eastern Time, well actually 4.14pm, but that doesn't sound as nice. And the 28 days check mark in the login bonuses will be checked at exactly 8pm tonight. So I've gotta wait about 4 hours. You guys don't though, because when you watch this video, it'll be past 8pm and you'll be able to see all my pack openings for the month, including the pumpkin pack in this very video in just a few moments. But since I've got to wait, why not go ahead and check out something that is available to me right now, and that's my second SS17 Fusion. First one was Kevin Owens, let's find out what the second one is going to be. Alright, it's Fusion time. Really, I'm looking for one of two things, KO or a female. So, Asuka or Natalia, one of the two. Actually, so three cards, KO, Asuka, or Natalia is going to be one of those three. And, no, it's not, it's The Miz, so... I consider this a loss. So for this fusion recipe, I'm actually doing something that I thought I'd never do or not anytime soon, but that's putting cards like this, a Hall of Fame Trish Stratus card, a Hall of Fame Diamond Dallas Page card, and this event Seth Rollins card. This isn't a pro, but this is an event card that I got. I never got the second one. Don't remember why. I can't recall. Probably missed the event or, you know, well, obviously missed it or didn't have enough time. But usually I keep these cards. You know, just in case. And and that's an issue that I have. I just keep way too many cards. Uh, to the point where after maybe two or three Road to Glory matches, I reach the deck limit and I have to go ahead and level up a superstar, use up some cards so I can make up some space to play some more matches. So, yesterday, you guys didn't see this because I didn't do this on video, but I went ahead and probed like over 20, 33 cards. I had a ton from the TBG rewards and just pulling them and such. And a ton of them were duplicates, cards that were pros, but that I just never bothered proing. So I was like, you know what? Uh, one thing that I can do to reduce the amount of cards that I've got is pro all of these cards. So I silver proed a ton of cards, and now I'm getting rid of some cards that I was going to keep. But I'm like, you know what? I don't need these cards. If I want to use the picture at some point, I can from the card catalog. So anyways, let's go ahead and start the third SummerSlam 17 Fusion. So the time has come, it's past 8 p.m. Eastern Time, which means that now we've got the 28 days check mark and we can get our pumpkin pack. But of course, as always, I'm going to start off from the first pack, the weakest pack, to the strongest. So that means Survivor Series pack, you're up first. Speaking of Survivor Series pack, if Season 4 of Supercard comes out in November, I feel like the top tier should maybe be Survivor Series, just because it's fitting, and the last time we had a reset, the top tier became the Legendary tier. So, maybe we see the Survivor Series tier as the new top tier, if we do get a reset. Although I do know that a lot of people don't want a reset, but at the same time, some people do. So, five picks, and the card is Finn Balor. I remember this card. Like, this card sticks out. It's not a card, like for instance, when I got the Sheamus card last time, I forgot that it was actually an updated Sheamus Survivor card and not the old Sheamus. I don't really recall if he was, I know he wasn't top tier, it's more so, I'm not sure if he was low tier or mid tier, probably mid tier. So, let's go ahead and move on to the Mania pack now. This is the first Mania tier in the game, open this up. And we get John Cena. I don't need to tell you that a John Cena card is a good card in any tier you're in. When it comes to John Cena, he's always been a good card. He's never been a bad card. It's not like Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has actually had instances where he was a weak card. Back in, I think it was season one, Roman Reigns was actually a bad card. I got him as a freebie, and it was, at the time, the worst freebie that I had, that I had gotten in the game. If you had said that now, if you say that now about a Roman Reigns freebie, an updated Roman Reigns in Season 3, people would be like, what are you talking about? You should be grateful getting a Roman Reigns card because Roman is a good card. So uh, moving on, 
We get an epic Paul Bearer, and I'm assuming, yeah, some credits. This is where the credits start coming in. A little map, but by the end of this, we get 500 credits, of course, as always. So, moving on, next pack, SummerSlam pack. Let's go and open this up. We get 100 credits, moving on. I'm telling you guys, man, drop an update so we can skip this animation. Are we going to have to wait for Season 4 to skip the battle points and credits animation? For whatever reason, they don't want us to skip it. So, uh, Legendary Toughness. What's the SummerSlam card? That's what I... Okay, Paulo Cruz, not a good card. <laughs> He's still not a good card to this day. Um, but... That kind of reflects, you know, how he's doing on TV. Apollo Crews isn't exactly a top guy on TV. He doesn't have, you know, one of the best records out there on TV. He loses more matches than he wins. Unless we're talking about house shows, that might be a different case when it comes to house shows. Oftentimes, faces do win to send the face, uh, I mean, to send the fans home happy. So, um, the last pack before the pumpkin pack, we've got that Harden pack. Let's see, uh, let's see what's in there, man. So far, it's been okay. Best card pulled, John Cena. Well, not pulled, but best card out of these packs, John Cena. Kalisto. Was Kalisto a good card? Pretty sure Kalisto was not a good card. I know in the current SummerSlam tier, Kalisto is actually the worst card out there, which is funny seeing as how he was just the uh, Cruiserweight Champion, and he is a former United States Champion. I feel like they could have, you know, found a bunch of other superstars that could have been the weakest card in that tier. Like, why is Kurt Hawkins stronger than Kalisto? I don't know. Moving on. The uh, credits, 150 credits. For some reason, not being able to skip the animation kind of bugs me. And, okay, a legendary Miss Elizabeth card. So now it's finally time for the main event. The pumpkin card. This is really the only thing that matters at this point if you're in the high tiers in the game. It's an ultimate card, it's an SS17. This is everybody's first opportunity. Well, everybody that's, you know, low tiers. First opportunity to really get an SS17 card absolutely free without being in a team that gets you in. Alright, so before I open this up, in the comments section right now, without cheating, without fast forwarding, I want you to tell me what tier you think this is going to be. Is it going to be an ultimate pumpkin card or an SS17 pumpkin card or 33 pumpkin card? You guys have five seconds before I open this up. Five, four, post up that comment. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, credits. Um, wait a minute. What is that in the background? Get, I, oh, I think it's an, oh yeah. I think it's an ultimate card. Looks like an ultimate card. Yeah, okay. So it's an ultimate pumpkin. So even if it's a pro, chances are it's a pro that I'm not gonna pro. But uh, yeah, Ultimate Pumpkin, not the best result, but whatever. We had a shot at an SS17. I wonder what the drop rate is for the SS17 card out of that pack. So uh, yeah, and then a uh, Survivor Enhancement Charisma. Nobody cares for that. So uh, that is pretty much it for the pack opening. We got an ultimate pumpkin out of it. It's the pretty much the weakest possible. Well, tier-wise, it's the weakest thing you can get out of the pack. And in the comments section, let me know what tier of pumpkin you got out of your free pumpkin pack. Most of you will probably get ultimates and 33s because that's just the way it is when it comes to packs you're usually going to get what's on the lower end instead of what's on the higher end. But at the end of it, regardless of what I got, I've still got 500 extra credits now, which I think is the best thing anyways out of the login bonuses if you're in the higher tiers. If you're in the lower tiers though, you can really benefit from everything out of the login bonuses from the cards to the credits as well. You want it all, so make sure you just log in every day. And I checked if the ultimate pumpkin that I just got was a pro. It's not a pro, but what I did notice is it seems like the female pumpkin in RTG is a pro for me. It's just unfortunate that it's an ultimate pro. Pro, meaning it's not going to be of any use in the deck. But anyways, less than a week from now, all this pumpkin stuff will be over. We'll have our zombie cards, there won't be any guessing anymore. It's going to be the month of November, the same month that Season 3 of Supercard came out. You know what that means? There's going to be a lot of Season 4 talk and a lot of speculation on whether or not Season 4 comes out. And if there's going to be a reset or not. 
So that is pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can click the like button down below. And with that said, I'm out, guys. See ya.